Hello guys, this is Dr. Sajad Wani. Today I have prepared a video on coronavirus disease 2019 because of the ongoing pandemic around the world of the coronavirus disease. This is for the education of the students and general masses. So we'll start with coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19. This word COVID-19 contains four parts CO it indicates Corona so it is an acronym VI indicates virus and this D indicates the disease and 19 means 2019 so coronavirus disease or coronavirus disease 2019 the ongoing pandemic the word COVID-19 has been derived from four different things first CO means Corona 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 means crown or the shape crown like shape the virus that causes the disease appears like this as shown in the photograph so that's why it's known as corona it's a virus so this disease is no, uh, called coronavirus disease as it's caused by coronavirus so it's a viral disease and the outbreak it took place in 2019 in Wuhan China so that's why it's known as COVID-19 right We'll move ahead. Coronavirus disease it is an infectious disease. So, like other infectious diseases, it is caused by a pathogenic organism and it is a communicable disease. It is caused by a virus which is known as severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2. So, this virus is known as SARS CoV 2. SARS coronavirus 2. SARS means severe acute respiratory syndrome. So it is a syndrome having acute respiratory symptoms caused by the group of viruses called as coronaviruses class 2. These coronaviruses they belong to a family coronaviridae and this coronavirus 2 it belongs to a genus which is known as beta coronaviruses of ortho corona viridi so the first identified case of coronavirus was identified in Wuhan in China in 2019 we all know this and this ongoing pandemic of 2019-2020 is known as the coronavirus pandemic and the main three symptoms which are seen in most of the cases are fever cough and shortness of breath we will deal with these things in coming slides but the thing you have to remember the important thing is that the rate of deaths per number of diagnosed cases is below 3.4 percent what does this mean that means this disease it has a very low death rate say among 100 patients who are diagnosed with the, who are positive for coronavirus only around 3.4 percent that is three to four people they die and it is important to mention here the already immunocompromised patients the elderly patients or two young patients they are more prone and they are more susceptible and the number of deaths in the world they usually include the old patients the infection is typically spread from one person to another person through respiratory droplets this is a, an important point so this disease it can it is spread through respiratory droplets which are produced during coughing and sneezing so this point is to be remembered this disease it is spread through respiratory droplets respiratory droplets which come out through our nasal cavity and through our oral cavity while we cough and we sneeze and one more point which you must remember is the time 
from the exposure to the onset of diseases which is known as the incubation period it varies from 2 to 14 days you have to remember this that means from the time a person gets infected and the time when the person shows the symptoms the time varies from 2 to 14 days and the average is 5 days so if a person is exposed to the infection on day 1 he will show symptoms after 5 days so for 4 days he will be asymptomatic he will not show any signs of getting this virus the world health organization who has declared the 2019-20 coronavirus outbreak as a pandemic what is a pandemic pandemic means a disease having a wide geographical extent that means a disease that has crossed all the uh, boundaries and that is spread over many countries and it was declared as a public health emergency of international concern this point you have to remember that the signs and symptoms of coronavirus are as coronavirus disease it can be asymptomatic that means a person having a viral load may not show any signs so this is very important so a person who carries a viral load is not necessary to show some symptoms so sometimes a person can be asymptomatic for some period but usually the patients they show signs and the prime sign is the fever around 80 to 90 percent cases of coronavirus disease 19 have shown the sign of fever and there is dry cough fatigue sputum production and shortness of breath so the indicative signs of this SARS coronavirus 2 which causes the COVID-19 disease the prime signs are fever dry cough and shortness of breath and there can be fatigue as well so some other signs include the muscle pain or the joint pain the sore throat headache chills nausea and nasal congestion and sometimes in a very few cases we have seen diarrhea hemoptysis hemoptysis means the presence of blood in the sputum or conjunctival conge uh, congestion in our uh, eyes and some patients in china they were having cardiac symptoms only they didn't show any signs of fever dry cough or shortness of breath but they showed the cardiac signs like uh, chest tightness and palpitation so you must remember the signs so the first thing is that the cases may be asymptomatic they will not show any signs but most of the cases they show signs like fever dry cough and shortness of breath and sometimes we have some symptoms of sore throat headache chills nasal congestion and other symptoms like a flu so there's a delay from when a person is infected with the virus to when they develop symptoms which is known as the incubation period that i already told you that a person when he gets infected and then later on he shows the signs the period in between is known as the incubation period it varies from 2 to 14 days the average is 5 to 6 days so this is very important for 2 to 14 days or up to 5 days on average a person may not show any signs but he will carry the virus so the disease is caused by a severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 i already told you that this virus it was known as the novel coronavirus 2019 or 2019 and co but the scientists they proved that this virus has a close resemblance with SARS coronavirus so it was classified as SARS coronavirus second and this is a single stranded RNA virus so it's a class of viruses which is known as the positive sense single stranded RNA virus and the important thing in this virus is that the nucleic acid inside it is RNA so it is an RNA virus having a protein coat and over this protein coat we have an envelope this is very important which gives it a protection so this is an enveloped virus so it may sometimes be hard to kill and this virus it contains some spikes on surface or peplomers which help its attachment to various surfaces so it is primary respiratory droplets through coughing and sneezing and the virus it can remain viable this is very important 
this virus it can remain viable that means it can remain infectious for three days on plastic and stainless steel and can last up to three days on these surfaces and in aerosol it can remain suspended and viable for three hours this is very important that's why we must sanitize the various surfaces in order to prevent the spread and infection by this virus the lungs are the organs most affected by coronavirus 19 this is very important so the prime organ that is affected by coronavirus 2 SARS coronavirus 2 is the lungs why because the lungs they contain the ACE2 enzyme this is second angiotensin conversion enzyme second it is present in various cells of the body but it is most abundant in type 2 alveolar cells of lungs so this ACE2 enzyme it acts as a receptor for this virus no virus can affect you unless it finds a receptor the proper receptor which helps its entry inside the cell so only a receptive cell can give entrance to the virus to any virus so in case of coronavirus the receptor for coronavirus is ACE2 enzyme and lungs have plenty of ACE2 enzyme in its alveolar cells so lungs are the primary organs for the entry of the virus and its effects what are the diagnosis of the viruses this disease can be diagnosed by a standard method of testing that is the real time reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction which is also known as RRT PCR so real time reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction it is the standard method of testing or diagnosis this test can be done on the respiratory samples uh, you can see the samples from the nasopharyngeal swab or the sputum and the results are available within few uh, hours or up to two days the most important thing the actual purpose of this video was to make the masses aware about the preventive measures against coronavirus disease the best prevention is to stay home that is called the self quarantine you must quarantine yourself so the best method to prevent this disease is quarantine that is you must stay home and you must avoid travel don't travel and you must avoid public dealings and public activities so best thing to prevent the spread of this virus is to stay home you should also wash your hands with soap and warm water often and for at least 20 seconds this is a standard procedure wash your hands with the soap and warm water for about 20 seconds you should have good respiratory hygiene when you sneeze and when you cough you should cover your mouth with the tissue and you should avoid touching your eyes nose and mouth with unwashed hands so the other preventive measures are covering up the mouth and nose with a tissue during a or sneeze or if you don't have any tissue with you or hanky with you you can sneeze inside the elbow proper hand hygiene after any cough or sneeze wash your hands right social distancing strategies that means you should keep yourself away from crowded places you should avoid contact with people especially the infected people or the people who showed signs and symptoms of cough or any flu you should avoid contact in with people in large groups you should close gatherings like schools workplaces restrict travel cancel mass gatherings and according to who the masks can also be used especially when you are taking care of a suspected person infected persons should always stay home or they should be quarantined they should keep themselves in quarantine and get medical care at that place and if they need to visit a health care provider they should call ahead so that necessary arrangements can be made they should wear a face mask when exposed to an individual or a location suspected of the infection WHO also includes that you should use an alcohol based hand sanitizer which contains ethanol or isopropyl alcohol 
having at least 60% of but the standard procedure is that you should always prefer to wash with soap and water and if soap and water is not available you can use a sanitizer so you should also avoid spitting in the public places so what is the prognosis of the disease this disease does not always lead to death it is not always lethal the disease can sometimes be asymptomatic and sometimes it can have a mild course that means it will not show much symptoms and sometimes it can show acute symptoms of mild upper respiratory diseases such as common cold but in some mild cases a recovery takes place within one two weeks within two weeks and there are only some severe cases which need and the critical disease it can go up to three to six weeks and they may take three to six weeks to recover but if the patient is already having an underlying ailment or he is old then it can lead to death within few days of onset so the severe the worst case scenario it includes the pneumonia it includes the ARDS which is known as acute respiratory distress syndrome which causes respiratory failure septic shock multi-organ failure the complications also include the sepsis abnormal clotting damage to heart kidney liver and ultimately death of a patient so in general you can remember that sometimes it can be asymptomatic and it can show mild symptoms it can look like a common cold but the mild cases they recover within two weeks and only in severe cases you need care and three to six weeks is enough for their recovery but only in very few cases death can take place there is no available vaccine we you have to remember that it may take a year or so for the development of a vaccine so at present there is no vaccine available so the best